And I'm Dave Ritzko, Transtar's technical parts specialist. Today we're going to talk about 62TE and we're going to focus a little bit on the electrical part of it. Again, 62TE has been out for a while. In my opinion, it's a glorified 604 with a compounder section added to get a couple more gears out of it. Again, like the 604, it has its issues and it's a pretty forward build on it. But here's something in the electrical that confuses some people, and I've seen it mentioned wrong at seminars and just in talking with people calling it wrong. This would be the valve body with the solenoid block on it. There was one solenoid that was separate from it and it was available. It is a VSF for the TCC. So again, it's a variable force solenoid for the lockup. It started getting nicknamed the EPC for the lockup. But then when people hear EPC, they go right with it as a pressure control solenoid. Well, it, this is kind of that, but it controls the lockup, not pressure in the transmission. So for the longest time, this was available separate from Chrysler and the solenoid block. It is brand new. Everyone is tested. It comes with the screen. It's full of oil. So we're not even going to open it as to make a mess. So again, that was the whole solenoid block. What happens to be this chunk right here. Now, fast forward to today, the true EPC solenoid for this is available. And it's the one that hid right here, but really there wasn't a way to get it out is why Chrysler didn't make it available. Well, gonna show you real quick how you can get to this. And again, it is available separate. In my opinion, I believe the EPC fails a little bit more than the TCC VSF. Now here's the deal, if the unit comes in and it's hand grenaded, full of that fine powdery metal and everything, you're probably better off just replacing the whole block in this solenoid. If it comes in and it's a typical burn up, why did it burn up? Could it be that the EPC was starting to fail, be a little bit on the weak side and not done? So again, even to change this, you really don't even have to remove the solenoid block from the valve body to change the VSF, you take the little clip out, one little screw, and the solenoid pulls right out. This one, a little bit more work, but not that bad. And it's probably not a bad idea. There's rebuild kits for these to go into to change the rubbers, the contacts, the springs. So again, if you're already there, it's not going to hurt. So what you want to do is remove the screws from this top plate. So once you get the screws out, you lift up the plate, you'll notice dimples in the plate, and the dimples are where these springs go, and they will be for your contacts. So you pop the springs out, and again, pretty foolproof where they go back, you shouldn't have a big issue with it. Again, a cell phone's a great thing when you first do your first one. If you're uncertain, take a little picture. Then you can always refer back to it. Then what you want to do is pop this black connector plate off. And again, a few things may or may not fall out. These are your contacts. These are your brass plates that fit on top of the solenoids. These are your shift solenoids. These are not available separate, at least not yet, as the time I'm talking to this. 
So here's your EPC, and again, it just stab locks into the thing. Again, you have your brass contacts that sit there. Again, it's not that big of a deal to take them apart. They only go one place, and you can match them up to the cover. So to get the solenoid out, you want to push in a little bit because there's some pressure on it, and there'll be two pins. Just push in, relieve the tension, pull the two pins out. And you just pop the solenoid out and you can see there's like a little wave plate on it and that's what retains the pins. Again, I believe this, the true EPC, Transtar number 132431, fails more than the TCC. So again, if you have a low pressure, it was a halfway decent unit, pretty clean, didn't change the solenoid block. May not be a bad idea to go in, clean this up, and change this. It is available again. Transtar number 132431. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.